Hi everyone, in this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be sharing with us on the weakness of Satan and the most effective defense man can use against Satan. This video will bless you powerfully. Fasten your seatbelt and get ready to be blessed by this video production. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much and God bless you. When Satan wants to attack you, the first thing he finds out is whether what you are doing is in the will of God. Provided it is in the will of God, he cannot attack. Go to the book of beginnings and you see Adam. Satan kept coming every day, but he could not do anything to Adam. Why? Because Adam was at the center of the will of God. You, you, you imagine Satan coming, the same Satan that we're running away from. He comes around discussing with Adam. Adam replies him and doesn't pray about it. Why? Because his immunity was in the wheel. But when man fell through disobedience and disalignment, Satan had authority over him. Jesus, who was the manifestation of the will of the Father, hear what he said. Satan cometh to me but does not find anything. That means when Satan comes, it's not you he's looking for first. There is an information about your state he's looking for to legitimize his destroying your life. Are you in the will of God? Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Pastor, sir, I submit to you that there are many believers who are living their lives and the pattern of their lives are completely inconsistent with what God designed for them. There are many prophets today who are not near the place of their call. There are many people, the concept of the will of the king is a concept that the devil led us to push it out in church. Leave me, it is my life, we say. Let me do anything I want to do. Unfortunately, he will respect that. But make sure you are ready to take responsibility over the consequences. Because whatever initiates your journey is what will defend and protect it when any attack comes. When Satan wants to attack you, the first thing he finds out is whether what you are doing is in the will of God. Provided it is in the will of God, he cannot attack. Go to the book of beginnings and you see Adam. Satan kept coming every day, but he could not do anything to Adam. Why? Because Adam was at the center of the will of God. You, you, you imagine Satan coming, the same Satan that we're running away from. He comes around discussing with Adam. Adam replies him and doesn't pray about it. Why? Because his immunity was in the wheel. But when man fell through disobedience and disalignment, Satan had authority over him. Jesus, who was the manifestation of the will of the Father, hear what he said, Satan cometh to me but does not find anything. That means when Satan comes, it's not you he's looking for first. There is an information about your state he's looking for to legitimize his destroying your life. Are you in the will of God? Is God speaking to someone tonight? First John chapter 2 and verse 17. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 17. And the world passeth away and the lost thereof. The Bible says, But he that doeth the will of God. What is the blessing there? He abides forever. Do you know what it means to abide forever? That even when you are not here, the consistency of your walking in the will of God will immortalize your impact. That even when you are not there physically like Abel, though dead, you will still be speaking. Because you spent your life walking in the will of God.
Africa is a continent of prayer and glory to God for that. Nigeria is a nation of intense prayer. Glory be to God. But do you know the ratio of the energy that is dissipated in the place of prayer versus the genuine answer that comes out is almost depressing and frustrating. Do you agree with me? That believers, if believers got answers to everything they were asking for, many people would have entered their Sabbath by now. I will tell you what is missing. It is not the energy. It is not even the sincerity of heart. Most people do not know that the assurance of answered prayer is also connected to the will of God, not just your need. First John chapter 5, 14 and 15. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name First John chapter 5, please. Very quickly, verse 14. Read with me if you're a Christian. Ready? One, two, read. And this is the confidence we have. What is the confidence? That if we ask... Hold on. Anything. Anything. That means before your anything becomes worth answering, that anything must be a subset of his will. If your anything does not have a program in God's will, there is no guarantee of it being answered. Answered. Are we together now? Is someone learning now? So, some of these prayers that we keep praying, the first thing before you pray is to verify whether that which you are asking for is in the will of God. An analogy that is not the best but at least is helpful when you are employed by any serious corporation you are given a letter that gives you everything the claims you can have is that true perhaps they can tell you if you work extra hours this is what we are going to add and if you want to bring any petition before your superiors the first thing you do is to go back and verify is that true that your stance has a legitimate ground based on the commitment of that corporation to you if you go and say give me a raise they will say it is within our power but justify that raise according to everything we gave you is there a provision there that legitimizes your request this is the confidence So we can ask with confidence we can pray with confidence we can live with confidence and the bible says the confidence that we have is not just our names not just our backgrounds the confidence we have is that we are in the will of god so i can go to my duguri i can go to london and land there to do ministry and have confidence what is my confidence it's not because i have an uncle the confidence is that i am in the will of god and if it is true that i am in the will of god then the kingdom will come listen carefully what gives us confidence to pray for the sick it's not because we read a book on healing you will be disappointed i assure you it is because we have found out through the ministry of the word i'm coming here and through the ministry of the spirit that it is the will it is in the will of the king that every citizen within his domain works in health that's what gives us the legitimate crown and when we stand to minister then he backs us up as proof that is in his will why do we prosper we don't prosper just because we need cars and houses 
the major assignment of prosperity in addition to things like time redemption and inefficiency is that prosperity in itself has a message if it is true that God desires you to live well as revealed in his will then you must prosper you see you're not prospering it's not just about you you're not prospering is speaking a message is negating is showing that God who is that king is a liar somewhere that means God is ever ready to prosper you not just because he loves you alone but he has a point to prove your prosperity proves to creation that he did not lie that if you don't prosper creation has a right to call God a liar listen to me can I tell you this there are no guarantees in life unfortunately some of you here I, I know we have a session with ministers tomorrow please do not miss it like pastor encourage you but let me tell you this if you see anyone that God is doing great things with whether in business whether in ministry from a kingdom standpoint ask them the basis of their confidence and they will tell you they found out that they were in the will of God even if you are in the lion's den verify first before you sit down and say lions will not eat me verify if you are in the will of God go to bed are you hearing what I'm saying now? Yes, sir. All the exploits that you read in scripture, in modern history and even in today, it came because men and women found out that the secret to the glory of God in the life of a man is not just making claims you cannot defend, it's finding the will of God. You will hear people will tell you no matter what the demonic plot is, they want to kill this, they want to. You don't know how powerful the will of God is. And the surrounding commitments that back his will. His will is not empty. When you find his will, there are many other things you have found. In his will is safety. His commitment is only within the jurisdiction of his will. Everybody say the will of God. One more time. Thy will be done in my life. Thy will be done in my life. Thy will be done in my life. I'm about to pray. Let me show you a scripture. Hebrews chapter 13. When I found this, it changed my life. What I'm sharing with you tonight. It's a very simple message but you believe what I'm telling you your life will be nothing short of a sign and a wonder first to you and then to everyone who cares to pay attention to Hebrews 13 and verse 20 blessed be the name of the Lord Hebrews 13 and 20 we're reading 20 and 21 now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus that that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant now read 21 he says make you perfect in every good work to do stop there stop there don't rush that scripture God intends for you to do his will and he's praying a prayer that because he has found that you are determined to do his will his own commitment is that keep that scripture there he will make you perfect in every good work if it is his will make you perfect means make you prosperous make you perfect means make you influential make you perfect means all that it takes the moment your life is a committal to do his will you have signed something that your children and your children's children will live off the relevance the glory the health this is what covenant living is about covenant living is not selfishly choosing a promise and shouting at god and saying you said that no covenant living is your own pledge 
is lord my life will be a consistent manifestation of your will and god says that's it that if you commit yourself that everything you are about is my will and you've heard my story years ago the lord told me he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you that's it you have a right to project yourself and let the world see you but if you can go through the sacrifice of dying to yourself so that when they look at you they see me i said god that's it i am fine with it and my goodness to god be the glory let me just leave it there you have no you have no idea what god can do in your life when your life becomes a commitment the, most of us are running with our agenda then when we meet a stumbling block we borrow god to solve the problem and return him and continue doing our things and god says no that is not that that is not the definition of kingdom living kingdom living is not using your creativity to find what to do then when you find what to do you call god to back you up uh -uh. let me tell you how kingdom living is lord i cannot move if you don't move me I don't have anything to say until I know what you want me to say. When he comes to you, he becomes your message. When he comes to you, he becomes your agenda. That all that he desires is what your life is about. No wonder Jesus is called the Logos of God. Do you know what the Logos means? The will of the Father in action. That means anything God was thinking, Jesus was about to go and do it. What perfect living. It all belongs to you. Oh, it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Please sit down. We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.